In this presentation, we're going to look at how to create budgets for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, we create, we enter budget directly into NAV. After we use Excel to do it, we see the copy budget function. We see the different kind of budgets and the tools to report with budgets. So let's start to the financial management general ledger. GL budget. We're going to edit the budget 2013. I've put a filter on the posting date, so let's say we only want 2013 and some GL accounts, just the income statement income statement accounts. So we can enter a figure directly here. So minus 20,000, I will come back to the sign why I put a minus, it's a sales. And you can select the view you want. So here I've started by putting on a department. Let's come back, I want to see, so that's my, uh, that's the amount for the year. And if I want to be more specific and to enter on a month by month basis so I come back see the first month of 2013 and I'm going to divide that by 12 to spread it out and copy it okay and I keep I could keep going like that directly on nav instead I could use Excel to do that job so I'm going first to export it and I want to say I want the detail by department same filtering so nav is going to create an Excel worksheet I'm going to save it straight away Okay, and now in Excel, what I'll do, I will copy the information month by month. So I divide this one by 12, the amount of the year. And let's say we want each month to be the same. So we manipulate the data in Excel as we want. We save it. So now we're going to re-import it from Excel. We select our spreadsheet. The budget name we want to import it. Do we want to replace or to add the entries? And now Nav is reading the data and asking to import them okay so now we've got the yearly budget that has been spread for months by months we can also use the copy budget function that could be based on GL entries actuals or budget entries So here we're copying from the budget 2013. We can select which dimension to use and we want to copy that to a new budget that we are creating right now on the spot. Okay. So you could have a budget month by month, or you keep, you could keep just one budget because Nav uh, is uh, keeping all the dates. So you could have just a general budget that would be used every year.
Okay. So you can see you can add several dimensions. The first two dimensions, global dimensions, are included uh, without doing anything. And you can add four more dimensions. So that makes a total of six altogether. We have other budgets. So we will see at the sales budget now. It looks pretty much the same as the GL budget. But you have the possibility to put it by customer, item, location, salesperson, vendor, and grouping on customer and item. You can put not only values but also quantities and some functionalities as in the GL budget to, uh, to use Excel. In the same way, we have the purchase budget. Same thing with the detail per item, location, vendor, and you can put also a quantity. So before we saw that we enter the budget for with a minus for uh, sales, which is a bit counterintuitive. The reason is that that's a convention. The reason I put it is that here on your uh, out of the box, you've got the budget amount that shows in different screens: chart of account, GL balance budget, with uh, the difference that is. So the convention is now is debit is positive and credit is negative. So a sales would be a credit. That's what it is for actuals. And so for budget, if you keep the same convention, you've got the uh, percentage that is calculated uh, correctly. You can use the budget also in that nice report, the financial analysis report, which is uh, available just in um, Asia Pacific. That's a localized version of NAV. And you've got the budget variance that could be displayed. So the other budget we didn't speak about is the production forecast. Where you can put per sales or so the difference with this one is that budget is going to be used in the uh, supply chain management whereas the sales budget the GL budget purchase budget are just used for reporting now it's not going to create anything but on production forecast it is. So let's see first on the planning worksheet. If you, you have the uh, use forecast in the calculate regenerative plan. And even if you don't use production, you can use requisition worksheets. So here on the purchase, if we go to the requisition worksheet, calculate plan, you can include your forecast. So somehow your prediction of the future of what you're going to need. Where you can use this um, budget information are in the analysis report sales for the sales budget. Here you see on this tool you can report on item budget entries. In the same way on purchase, you can report on purchase budget with the purchase analysis report, but you are limited on both on items. Whereas if you go to financial management to the account schedules, when you define your columns, what data you want to see, you can report here on budget, GL budget entries. 
so that could include any dimensions.